How you doing guys? Uh, we're going to take a look at an updated version of Wirecast 4.3. Um, there's been a few changes. Um, uh, one of them is the new live thumbnails for your vi uh, different video uh, shots. And if you look down below with all these little tiny squares, and as you can see as I'm moving, they're uh, updating as well, not as fast as my top window, but you can actually see they're moving around. It kind of supposedly gives you um, a more of an updated view, I guess. Um, I don't know if I entirely like this feature, primarily because I'm concerned with how this can affect the uh, CPU load, uh, especially on lower spec machines, laptops or what have you, Mac minis or whatever. Uh, is it going to put more load on there? Uh, I'm going to see during my uh, next uh, live broadcast streaming how that's going to affect my, my computer. Um, so this feature would be okay as long as you could turn it off. Uh, I'm kind of wondering uh, as more people use it, that's going to be the case. We'll see. Another thing is a countdown clock of pre-recorded video. So if you're showing pre-recorded video through Wirecast, it gives you a timer kind of give you a heads up um, before you need to switch to the next shot and we're going to sh uh, show you that real uh, right now which is uh, and it doesn't seem to be working oh there we go it's slow and you can see it right here um, showing 34 31 look in the lower right hand side of the uh, video picture and uh, it kind of gives, like I said gives you a heads up on uh, when to switch and for some reason this uh, wirecast is lacking lagging wow I might actually have to uh, and it's not responding actually okay we might actually have to stop this video Oh wow, um, I am using a screencasting software that might be affecting Wirecast, but I'm going to do some testing after this to make sure that's uh, not the problem. Um, another new thing is going to be uh, some more integration with the Teradek, which gives you live streaming video through um, wirelessly, could be through the internet or a router or something like that. Um, which is um, called Teradek Bond, which utilizes multiple 3G, 4G modems, and I think with the Teradek Cube itself. So um, there, there uh, we have it. 